Hey guys, I'm Amirat and I received uh, one question. Uh, how did I manage to organize my chat boxes or chat windows like this? Because as you can see, I've got uh, outputs from my uh, commands here. Uh, when I use any command, I get all output here. But all text I'm writing, I'm getting... I'm writing into separate chat windows. So I've got my chat windows separated. Uh, how is it done? It's uh, quite simple actually. It, it, it isn't any special add-on or something like that. Uh, the only thing you need is basic World of Warcraft and that's really it. So I will show you a new character and how am I doing this because I think that this is quite a useful tip. It's not a very modding thing but it's a very useful thing for GMs in general. So. What we are going to do uh, is right click on this general and uh, I will create new window and call it uh, command out output for example and now you can just move it just grab it like this and move it elsewhere and you can do the same with combat lock for example and I will create another one out of character and rename and rename this. You can rename it here to RP because I'm a role playing player and I need uh, out of character and role playing communication separated. So we've got three chat windows. Now you can see those triangles here. So what you can do is drag them down and make those windows larger if you want to. So we can really organize your windows like this into one line you can unlock this window just right click click on unlock and you can do the same with this one as well now right click and lock them like this and uh, now we are still getting our command outputs here into main window so what you need to do is go here right click and go to settings and go to other and enable system messages and I'm going to disable all other chats here. So now at the moment when I type GPS or something I get my output here and I get it here as well. So I want to disable it here so go to settings, go to other and disable system messages. Okay GPS and now I'm getting my GPS output just into this window while at the same time my chat is getting uh, duplicated into those two and now you can really distinguish between channels here so for example I as a role player want to have say emote and TL in role playing channels and disable all others okay so disable all channels in main in role playing chat window aside from creature messages one more to go okay so I've got creature messages and I've got say emote and TL in my role playing channel and as you can see I am not getting my my uh, message from general chat into any of windows because it is disabled here it is disabled here and it is not set up here so this so for out of character uh, chat box or chat window I'm going to disable my say emote and TL and enable the rest enable these ones here and enable whatever I want here so for, for example this so now when I type role-playing message I get it only here when I type out of character message I get it only here and when I use some command I get its output only here. So that's how you do it. So it's very simple and you don't need to have any add-on or anything like that. Uh, it's just like this. Uh, so that's it guys. I wanted just to give you this uh, small tip. At the moment I'm working on new modding tools. <clears throat> I can show you at least some of them. Uh, for example here is my uh, game object generator 
which looks at the moment like this. Uh, and I'm going to develop more such tools which enable mass imports into DBCs and uh, uh, editing multiple DBCs at the same time quickly and so on just to make uh, production pipelines as quick as possible. That's what I'm working at, uh, on at the moment. Uh, like I said, I've got two tools already. Uh, this one is almost finished. I'm just still testing it and getting some feedback and uh, changing it a little bit. And the second one is already almost done. So that's what I'm working on at the moment, trying to make your lives uh, easier and mine as well. Uh, and we shall see uh, how quickly this will go. For now, it's uh, everything I've got for you. Uh, thanks for watching. And as always, guys, happy morning and enjoy your weekend.